Hello everyone, today I'm here to show a new open source project that I'm working on and this time it's working with drone so basically I'm leveraging from machine learning and computer vision um, and robotics to make a, a lower cost drone uh, smarter the, the drone that we are using here is the Tel. you can see here, so it's a $100 uh, drone uh, very cheap one and to be used indoor but you can leverage from this code to work with any other drone that supports uh, external connection. Um, some features that you already have in place, it is control drone by gestures, uh, people tracking, people searching, sound feedback, uh, Morse command using the camera, uh, keyboard control, drone path monitoring and drone path planning as well. Uh, so you're going to be streaming the video to the browser using WebRTC. You have remote control using, using web sockets, and you have also available joystick um, built using HTML, uh, and you have a, a new initiative to use uh, to integrate with iOS. That's still in progress, so you can check it out on the branch iOS if you are an iOS developer. Okay, so let's see the the project we're working then. So here I set the drone. The drone is uh, it's fine. So I enable the pulse and the drone is starting to looking for somebody so then I found myself here and the drone is trying to to look at me all the time so I give a command to say the drone to follow me around and then the drone you can see the drone start to follow me and uh, try to keep the camera always pointed to, to myself and you can see that um, the position that the, uh, the reference position it is my nose and so here I keep uh, walking around showing the, the environment for you guys and don't keep coming towards me and always trying to keep a safe distance uh, the distance is based calculated on how big is my uh, the shoulder uh, in the uh, in, in the camera basic so still coming around and here you can see that I'm gonna sit down and the drone also is gonna adapt the height to keep a, a good view from myself and here you can see that I'm gonna give Great. some commands to stop tracking to stop uh, the, the following me and I'm gonna give more commands uh, two fingers to go to the left and one finger to go to the right and you can see that the drone responds pretty well and uh, then I give another command here to get closer to myself Oops, almost hit myself, so give the two, two fingers command to go a bit forward. And now I'm gonna give the command to take pictures. Taking picture. Yeah. Taking picture. And you can always see that the drone is it's landing. responding with landing. sound landing. Uh, when I landing. recognize the, the, the command. Here now I'm gonna show uh, the option to control the drone to the web and using HTML to, to send the commands. Uh, basically I, I used HTML to draw the the joystick and another feature that we can see here that we are streaming from uh, my computer to the browser using web or to see and um, the commands and the position from the drone it's coming through socket pretty work pretty well so the next feature a feature that you're gonna see is the uh, path planning so where here I'm drawing points that I want my drone to go um, you can see that you can use a background as well I'm kind of ignoring here the background I have at the moment uh, it's supposed to be my house but I'm in the office um, so the drone goes to the indicated points and when we to the point try to go back and here we went back and the end of the, the um, land 